Bitcoin is about to create a massive move, a move that not many people are expecting. So do not get fooled right now. In this video, I'm going to be telling you exactly what I am seeing right now in the market and what I think is going to be next for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum. And yes, I can already be telling you that you do not want to be missing out on that next Bitcoin move because, well, something huge is about to happen. So make sure to push up that like and as always, let's have a look into what's that short Term. And what we can be seeing over here is already quite interesting because what we have seen yesterday is that we got another push back towards the upside. As you can be seeing over here, we actually got this breakout towards the upside, but this one once again got retraced back towards the downside because we got this news out. And yes, this once again was pretty bearish news for Bitcoin, but just like the day before, well, we have pretty much had two major Bitcoin negative news events two days in a row and still yes we did create a little bit of a wick towards the upside but still the price is hardly getting affected yesterday we have had our coinbase news and that day before we got news from qcoin that they are getting sued which has also not been a good look for crypto but still the bitcoin price is holding up pretty well in my opinion and this is clearly showing that we are in a bull market and that we are going to be headed higher and i'm going to be explaining exactly why well whenever you are getting bearish news and the price is hardly getting affected well it is indicating a lot of bullishness in the market because if it were to be bearish we would have had a massive crash towards the downside literally this was the perfect opportunity for the market to actually crash towards the downside but it did not do so it is still holding up very well and that is indicating to me that we are going to be headed even higher. Now, on top of that, we are also going to be having a look into some major charts, which are going to be indicating the same exact thing. So stay tuned for that. First of all, we do have that price target still above us. We, of course, got this beautiful breakout outside of this symmetrical triangle. During these bottom stages, I was warning you all of the time that we are going to be headed higher and we are getting very close towards our Bitcoin bottom. And right now, well, yes, indeed, we have seen that breakout towards the upside side and right now we are seeing a slight consolidation but i think that this is just going to be a little bit of a breather before we are going to be headed even higher towards our ultimate price target so yeah that ultimate price target is sitting at the 74.6k level that is going to be the level we are going to be having a look in towards but what we can be seeing inside of this small consolidation over here is that we are perfectly getting rejected from of this previous key level of support and resistance over here it was resistance resistance right here support right here flipping in towards resistance and got this massive correction so yes this level is going to be very important and right now bitcoin is having a hard time to actually break above this level now at the same time it is also getting supported by this level of support over here as you can clearly be seeing right here getting supported and this level is actually also that previous autumn high which is going to be a very significant level for bitcoin and for this level as well we can be seeing a lot of confluence right over here for example right over here and bitcoin is just kind of bouncing around in between of these levels of support and resistance and this is where it will be getting interesting because during our consolidation in between of these levels we are actually creating some kind of a consolidation pattern in the form of this bull flag pattern and also at the same time this megaphone pattern and both of these patterns are actually right now indicating that we are going to be seeing a continuation towards the upside and the interesting thing is right now that bitcoin is actually testing this resistance right now so if it were to be breaking above well that is going to be indicating that yes indeed we are going to be seeing that next breakout towards the upside and if we were to be seeing this breakout i think we are going to be breaking above that previous level of resistance which is going to be very important because if we are going to be breaking above this level in my opinion it is just going to be indicating that we are going to be reaching new autumn highs and we are going to be reaching our price target now of course do keep in mind that we first need to be seeing this confirmed breakout towards the upside and before we are not seeing this breakout towards the upside well we are not really going to be thinking about that price target just yet okay because if we were to be getting just another rejection from of this level and if we were to be falling down below this support level well in that case i just think we are going to be getting another massive crash back towards the downside and in that scenario 
video, we should definitely start to get a little bit more worried. And that is also going to be the reason why I'm going to be setting my stop loss in a profit for my Bitcoin trade. It is right now wrecking in 44,000 US dollars. But yeah, definitely if we are going to be falling down below this level of support, well, it is not going to be a good look for Bitcoin. So definitely this level of support is going to be the most important level to hold for Bitcoin. But well, I do not think it is going to be likely that this scenario were to be playing out, but I just need to be saying it because that possibility is always there. But actually, if we have a look into our metrics, it is going to be way more likely that we are just going to be seeing this breakout towards the upside. Of course, first of all, we had a look into what's our news event. This is looking very bullish. Second of all, having a look into what's our liquidity. Well, we took out all our liquidity, both towards the upside and towards the downside perfectly. And right now, most of our liquidity is actually cleared and most of that liquidity is actually sitting on that top side. And while well, Bitcoin usually moves towards the direction where that majority of the uh, liquidity is actually sitting at. So that is looking pretty good. Let's see if we can once again go after our liquidity towards the upside, just like we have been doing actually in the past few months. It is definitely a very reliable indicator for the past few months. Now, also having a look in towards our Bitcoin funding rates, well, they are still sitting quite low. They have been getting a little bit higher, but still they are relatively low in my opinion. Yes, if they are going to be getting any higher, we should start to get a little bit more worried but definitely not right now yet. But yeah, anyways, on top of that, having a look into what's that CME gap, we of course still have that CME gap down below us, but many people are actually going to be getting trapped and are going to be getting fooled because of this CME gap down below us, because I can be seeing everyone actually talking about this CME gap down below us and that we need to be filling this, uh, that CME gap. But what we can actually be seeing in the last cycle playing out is that we had two CME gaps down below us and then actually Bitcoin exploded, broke above that previous Altmai, just like we are currently doing. So it could just very well be that we are just going to be confirming this breakout towards the upside above that previous Altmai and once again are going to be exploding towards the upside. Definitely one thing is for sure. Do not get fooled because of this CME gap down below us right now. Many people are in fact actually getting trapped if we are going to be seeing this breakout towards the upside right now. But yeah, anyways, we'll be talking about the previous Altmai and about Ethereum a little bit later. First of all, to sum it up, I think a breakout towards the upside is going to be very likely within the coming 24 to about 48 hours. So I am still well positioned in the market right now with my Bitcoin long position. But if you want to be trading yourself as well, make sure to check out that link down below because you can right now be claiming a 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus. And without that link, it is only going to be 400 US dollars. So make sure to check out that first link down below. It is basically just going to be free capital. You can be using for a free trade or maybe even to buy new altcoins. Anyways, make sure to check it out. Now, if you cannot be doing any KYC, you should be checking out Femex or Deepcoin because over on Femex, you can be claiming 8,800 US dollars in free bonuses. And over on Deepcoin, you can be claiming 220 US dollars by only depositing $100. So make sure to check it out right now and prepare yourself right now for that next Bitcoin move. Now, anyways, having a look into what's that weekly time frame for Bitcoin, we can be seeing that exactly we are consolidating at around our previous Altmai and still actually struggling to break above that previous Altmai. But whenever, in my opinion, we are going to be confirming that weekly candle close above that previous Altmai, or just like last cycle, I think we are going to be going absolutely exponential. So yes, this breakout is actually going to be the most important thing to actually have a look into what's for Bitcoin right now. And we're actually having a look into what's that weekly time frame and that weekly level of resistance. Well, right now it is definitely turning into a support. We have come above it, retested it over here with a huge wick towards the downside. And right now it is still looking quite good with a bullish setup. So in my opinion, on that weekly time frame, there's pretty much nothing to really worry about. And for Ethereum, it is as well making itself ready for a massive next move. Of course, Bitcoin is preparing itself by this bull flag pattern and also this megaphone pattern, but Ethereum is right now creating this massive ascending triangle. So also Ethereum is preparing itself for a massive breakout anytime soon. And maybe if you are not in the market already right now, maybe Ethereum is actually going to be a better trade than Bitcoin right now because 
it is sitting quite low if we have a look into what's the Ethereum against Bitcoin pair. It is sitting on top of massive levels of support and I do think that anytime soon Ethereum is going to be outperforming Bitcoin. So maybe right now is actually going to be a good time to be getting in into what's Ethereum. But yeah, anyways, with that being said, make sure to watch this. A massive move is right now uh, about to be incoming. Make sure to be following me over on Twitter if you want to be staying up to date about every single market development. And guys, with that being said, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.